I recently found one of the best drawing tablets for people who don't have a computer. If you've been looking for a drawing tablet that doesn't need to connect to a monitor and can exist as a standalone device, definitely stick around to check out how amazing this tablet is. This tablet is the Frenzy Rubens Tab T11 Pro Drawing Tablet. It is an Android-based drawing tablet that comes with a really nice weighted pen. It actually feels just so great in your hand. The screen is about 10 inches, 16 by 9, and also is both touchscreen and you can use the pen as well. The resolution is 1920 by 1200 pixels, and you have about 64 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. There's a front camera and a back camera, and the best part about this tablet is there's only one main cord that you really ever need to use, which is your USB Type-C port for charging the tablet. There's also a few extra ports that you can check out as well if you're interested in those. I'm gonna do an unboxing so you can see everything that is within the box. Let's do this. Hey, you sitting, good boy. Look at the camera. Hey. <laughs> Hello gems and welcome back to the Sapphire Star. Today we're going to be doing a tablet review. It's been a while since we've done one. This is the T11 Pro by Frenzy. I'm very excited and honored. Kaz is very excited and honored um, to be able to open this tablet and test it out. So I'm super excited. Uh, you may notice I have a little different of a background today because I'm trying something new. But let's hop into the tablet review and see uh, what it's all about. Okay, so we're gonna use our handy dandy scissors. I am enjoying the casing so far. Casing seems pretty sturdy. We have a little plastic label here that we're going to... All right, we got the little label open. Oh, there's a label on this side too that I must have missed. Ta-da! Bum, bum, bum. Okay, we have our first piece here. Let's see what's in here. We have the little guide on how to set things up and a really cute thank you card. Aww. Next, we have a wide selection of cleaning supplies and gloves, which is, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open this. Wow, we have a little cloth for cleaning. It has the branding on it. We have multiple gloves here. This is cool. I've actually never seen this grip type of glove and they give you a left-handed one and a right-handed one. Wow, that's cool. Okay, we'll have to try both of those out when we draw. And then of course we got the classic drawing glove, which is fantastic because I may or may not have lost like all of my drawing gloves recently. So glad to have one. Yay. That's really nice, got a little, got a nice selection there. Next we have what looks like to be a case, which is very nice, fancy. Ooh, we have a little tablet case, that's so nice. This is the first time, I've done a lot of tablet reviews and this is the first time I've ever gotten an actual case with the tablet, so that's super exciting. Next we have this little side box, which I'm assuming has the pen. And Oop, here's a little charger, we'll put that down for now. Oh, I see the pen down there, actually. I think this is a few charging cables. Oop, there we go. Some extra pen nibs, of course. Always fantastic to have some of those. And the pen nib grabber. Don't want to lose that. Next, we have our first cable here. Let's unroll that. Fantastic. Looks like we got a micro USB-C port. Ooh, and next we have like a little dust cleaner. Wow, so many just cool little neat pieces. I love this. Here is our pen. Ooh, has a very like heavy kind of like pen weight to it. That's nice. The pen has like a, like a weight. I don't know if you ever tried those mechanical pencils before. They're like, um, like grid pencils or something. I'll put an image up on screen, but it has a very similar feeling to that. I'm loving the feeling of this pen. It really gives you that traditional feeling. And finally, the moment we've been waiting for, the tablet itself. Oh! Oh, looking really nice, frenzy. Looks like there's a camera on the tablet as well. We got volume button, a power button, lots of different options on here. We'll be excited to explore that. And there's a camera on the front of the tablet too. I am very eager and excited to see what this is like. Next, let's pop our tablet into the case here. So to put your tablet in the case, you'll just lift this Velcro side right here, and then we'll slide the tablet in. And then we can close the case by retucking that Velcro piece in. 
And then there's a section here to hold the pen as well, which is pretty cool. So there we go. We got our tablet, we got our pen, and it's all kind of wrapped up in one piece. And the other cool part with, with this case too is we have one of those stand stands. So then if we need to put the tablet up or have it be standing on that angle for drawing, we can do that. We're gonna plug our micro USB into the correct port on the left side. We'll plug it in and then we're going to, let's just see what happens if I plug it into the wall. And I just clicked the power button, so now it's turning on. So we plugged it in the tablet to the power. I didn't realize that this was actually a tablet that's standalone. Oh, okay, display size, make items on screen larger or smaller, magnification, select to speak, talk back, font size. So this looks like all the settings. Let's go ahead and start. Must connect to Wi-Fi. Now something I am noticing is I'm not touching the screen right now and it's selecting through the different pieces. From here, I just continued setting up the tablet. You'll continue to move through the steps. Make sure you connect to a Wi-Fi network. And if the device asks you to transfer information or convert stuff from Google, you can skip that. You don't have to do that part. I got a little confused in the beginning and it took me a while to get everything set up, but you should be able to connect to the device without having to do anything additional, like connecting any other cords besides the power cord. You'll set a pin, so then you'll be able to log in. Now with this tablet, most of the apps you're gonna be downloading are off of the Google Play Store. So for drawing, programs that I've gotten recommended from the community is Ibis Paint. I don't think I'm saying that right. Uh, Ibex, Ibis X Paint, something like that. I tried that one. There was also a drawing app that was already on the tablet when I launched. So whatever drawing app that you want to use, you can definitely check out what are good drawing apps for drawing on a tablet or like a phone, for example. I personally don't use drawing apps on the phone because I use my computer and my PC mainly but definitely look around for additional resources or drop a comment below and let me know what is a popular phone or drawing app that you like to use if you are a mobile user. Overall, this is a fantastic tablet for someone who doesn't have a computer and is looking to have a standalone drawing tablet as an alternative to something that's a lot more expensive like an iPad. So we have our two different prices here and I highly recommend this tablet. Now you will be limited to the drawing apps that you can find on the Google Play Store it seems. This is a fantastic option for someone who's looking to just get started in their digital art journey and doesn't have a computer but wants to try drawing with a tablet but doesn't want to go as expensive as something like an iPad. I highly recommend this tablet. I think it's awesome and I'm so happy that art is becoming more accessible to people so that it's more affordable. If you're looking for more tablets and still considering your buying options, you can check out my playlist here where I've reviewed several different tablets to see what works for you. I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye. You say bye-bye. He's like, no, I'm grooming myself. Very beautiful, very beautiful, buddy.